My brain is gonna fucking explode right. Wasn't right wasn't now. she Why the one cut in half? Yeah, but Black Zodiac didn't kill Black Dahlia. Why I are you bringing Black Dahlia? Isn't this? he one of the subjects? What is fucking happening? <laughs> It was he, didn't he kill the Black Dahlia? Buddy, hey, listen, pal, you're drunk on fucking Murder Month. You gotta slow <laughs> down. Many. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Sorry, boys. I gotta pull this. Yeah, I gotta pull oh, this wait, back. I, I want to. I want to say it's. Uh, I gotta pull this back down to reality. I'm gonna, uh, I'm listen, I'm listen, it's 19. Uh, the Boston Strangler was born in 1931. So this is a one-year-old Boston Strangler. <laughs> getting past the baby it. Strangler. Has to be. The ba- baby yeah. Strangler. <laughs> Blood drinker vampire. The, the fact that there's okay. no go back to Jack the Ripper though. I do, I think that I don't think that's crazy. It's yeah, in Europe it's as in well. Europe, not that far away. So like he right was going after ladies of the night. <laughs> Drunk on murder month. <laughs> Just too much murder, man. I not too much murder. Hey, listen, no, the fact that you're like, okay, so this is his clientele. Even though he usually pulled them yeah. off the street, like opportunistic. But easy. it's a new age, man. It's a new world. You know, but here's the other thing. When you say surgical precision, you would absolutely have to have some type of knowledge of anatomy to be able to fucking completely sanguinate somebody like that. For sure. I, I, hey, I don't think that's now, crazy. The other thing is, one thing from I the agree. autopsy is like... <laughs> Zodiac and fucking black dog. That's fucked. I don't know what you're talking about there. I can loop it but, in. All right. Uh, I, I, all I right. think it, as, a first, as a first killing, he had to start somewhere. Right. Uh, the, sure. <laughs> the issue with the, the like extinguination is I'm like, how? Like, Cause like the autopsy doesn't show anything, but maybe it's one of those things where they weren't looking for like an IV mark because they're like her head's it's squished in. in. Right. So it was easy to like, I mean, you would imagine. You would imagine you'd need well, but no, because like once they realized she was exsanguinated, they're like, "Wow, why?" So they definitely went did a thorough yeah look, right? And I, I here, here's another question though. Like, I wonder maybe she was like bled out for a couple of days, like slowly. Well, yeah, because it was it was almost. They're saying that it was the night of. Uh, Walpurgis, was, Walpurgis, <laughs> which would have been four days before the actual <laughs> yeah. body was found. Next pod trip yeah. is for Walpurgis, boys. <laughs> so it's wow. gotta be. What? What about this? What about? I just had a, a quick, a quick idea. So where Brain was saying, maybe killed first and then bled out or whatever, and then bludgeoned. What if? What about if? If you're trying to get away from the forensics, like the blood splat- splatter and stuff, a bag. First. I thought that too. A yeah. bag around the head, a thick, heavy garbage bag of some kind, and then bludgeon. Would get all over her face. I thought about that too, but the blood would get all over her face. Maybe and she, like, maybe, you'd have to wipe her down. Maybe, but well, the blood. The, I'm sure there was still blood in her hair, right? There Not must a have lot, been though. because if she Not was really. bludgeoned. Yeah, like I can. Have you seen the picture? I have not seen the picture. I don't. I don't want anyone to see. It. Tell me if there's blood no. in there. Is it blood? It's hard in to there? say. Oh, black and white. Well, abstain. I'm yeah. saying there was a. Stuff. I'm try, I'm trying to come up with how what did they call pictures back there. Lookies, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> check out these lookies. Photo photography. Um, it's it. see that, and I mean, it's trigger trigger warning if you haven't already been triggered. You're I'm not triggered now. by now. It's too I'm late. Like, you know, yeah, it's it's with the, may, it maybe it's it was just months. like this, John was into some rougher stuff right and so that was you know that's the maybe with the bag but then i'm like a bag seems like a fucking hard thing to carry out a human amount of blood in for 1930 like what kind of fucking bags they got back then like i'm telling you right now if i grabbed one of these glad bags i had and i put any (laughs) amount of water in it yeah right terrible right so it's like well, you know, I mean, how much blood's in a human body? Not five liters or something? Five or six liters? Eight liters? Let's take a guess. I'm going to say it's yeah, five liters. but you're not liters. putting that in a burlap sack. You know what I mean? I'm just saying it's 1930. I'm not sure like, I'm I don't know what bags. What was their bag technology like? In, well, I guess... They, <laughs> 1.5 gallons. That's a lot. What is, so a gallon is about four liters. That's not a lot. That's not One a lot po- of blood. It also depends on your yeah. body size, right? Like, I got eight liters. 5.6. That's 5.67 okay. liters. So... I'll, if she's a she's a female, thirty two, she probably maybe a little less blood, maybe about five liters. I'm gonna say, so that's that's like a that's a jug of milk, really. How much more than a jug of milk? Oh, so you don't have a lot of blood in us, eh? Surprising. Not if yeah, you put I it in a so. container. When it hits the floor yeah, and leaks everywhere, it looks, looks like, like a lot. lot. Uh, I I just 
I have a hard time with the catching the. Absolutely, I couldn't. Uh, yeah, it's, it's a hard one. To, it's a hard one to come come up with because it doesn't make sense. Right, and then they listen. We do. We do have some suspects, though. Who would be some suspects? So, a waitress at the cafe Norma, located on the ground floor of their apartment block at Eleven Sanka Eric's plan. I don't know if I can close enough. Butchered that. Uh, said that a man came into the restaurant at 9 p.m. on Walpurgis night. He had ordered two steak dinners. She remembered this because she recognized the porcelain container he brought. It was the same one that Lily always used. Porcelain container. Here's the one thing for me. So wait, say okay. that again? He, f- she ha- he had a porcelain container? Yeah, he had a porcelain container, and it was the same one that Lily always used. What, what the fuck is a porcelain you, container? You how, though? What? Yeah, you <laughs> That's a great question. I thought, here's the thing. So this is where my brain went. I thought I should, you were like a okay. he, he brought this. He brought this porcelain container because he ordered two steak dinners. To me, this was a gentleman that assumed that he was going to be spending a little bit more money that evening, but didn't end up spending some money. So he used that money to buy himself two steak dinners. But Bring one home at with nine, him in a porcelain at 9 p.m. Though? Oh, the porcelain oh, yeah. container. It's like a takeaway. Oh, okay. I'm exactly. So, so he fucking, he, he kills yeah. this chick and then he's like, well, fucking takes the container. It's got the thirst for blood. So he goes and gets a couple rare steaks. He used that extra money that he was going to pay her, but instead he the killed steak. her during the blood and bought himself an extra steak. This is the fucking great depression, but he's buying two steaks. Well, so come on. So the timeline though, because she gets the do- knock on her door around 9 PM. No. What? So me, Oh, like, okay, well, this would work then because Mimi went to knock on Lily's door to leave to Walpurgan. Pergus. At 9 p.m. Walpurgus. Walpurgus. Yeah. Walpurgus. Walpurgus. Sorry. Pergus. Yeah. Pergus, my bad. So Pergus. she went to knock on her door around 9 p.m. And you're saying this, the girl at the cafe got this guy with. So he had. Li- she she sh- take dinners just after. So it would have been right so around the same time. So she was potentially yeah. dead she there. Dead right and now. he's sitting there eating steak. He's having a celebratory steak and yeah. taking one home with him. But that guy was never identified or found because he was never investigated. No, outside of that, no. he was uh, that a account. Random, a, a random guy. But that's not it, boys. Oh, there's more. Murder a local newspaper reported on a mysterious burglary. 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 <laughs> burglary. burglary. Yeah, it happens. A mysterious burglary, which occurred early in the morning after the murder in the apartment next door to Lily's. At 5 a.m., a woman who lived alone heard movement in her room. She saw a young man leaning over her desk and fiddling with a lock of a storage closet. The woman was startled. She jumped up and screamed. The burglar grabbed her and tried to muffle her screams by placing his hand over her mouth. The woman managed to tear herself loose and ran down the stairs. She then opened the window and called out for help. A patrolling police officer heard her cries for help and ran to her. By the time they made their way back to the apartment, the thief was nowhere to be found. This was, this was on what night? Well, the night after? This was the night that it happened. The night this was oh, Walpurgis, baby. Walpurgis, Crazy, man. You don't go Walpurgis. Out the night of Walpurgis. No, man. It's like yeah. Walpurgis. It's the purge, baby. You gotta be careful. Weird. It is interesting, though, because it does seem like this guy was possibly trying to rob her. Because he was going through his stuff, he didn't go after her. Well, right and away. Then, mm. But the fact that it happened yeah, the same see, night, in the fucking, it makes go it ahead, would Bruce. make sense for me if there was some more stuff taken from Lily's apartment. But by all accounts, her apartment's there's not really anything gone of note, right? So it's like you have this guy randomly burglaring people, and then he's like, "All right, you know what? I'm gonna find a prostitute and just I want to steal her blood. <laughs> that's, that's all I want." Right. Yeah. And then you don't take anything else because I mean, like banks. you have the perfect. Like you, you murdered someone, and if like if burglaring's your mo, like you have now a perfect op- opportunity to take whatever you want from this person's house, and you leave everything. Yeah, because you've taken her blood. You clean the apartment. You could easily take anything. Because <laughs> I said that she had a thousand. What what do we call them? Crowns or something? Kroner. 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 Which is the yeah. Swedish currency, I guess, at the time. Well, you tell me, man. <laughs> These are your fellow fucking. Sh- this is your fellow fucking translucents, buddy. You should know. All we don't of know. This. I don't. I don't even know who this guy is. There's a lot of us, and I don't know everybody. 
Right. Hey guys, thanks for watching. I know it's annoying to watch these broken up in 10 minute segments, but here's the next one over here. Or if you wanna watch the whole thing uncut and after hours, just click this link to our website and uh, give us a donation. You get full access to it on Patreon. Anyways, thanks guys. Enjoy the next video.